In the midst of ongoing legal battles, the question of whether former President Donald Trump and his co-defendants will face trial in October for their alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 presidential election in Georgia has taken center stage. District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Judge Scott McAfee are poised to provide more insights into this matter in the coming week. Willis, in a recent filing, has reiterated her stance that Trump and his co-defendants should be tried together. This decision sets the stage for what promises to be a closely watched legal showdown with far-reaching implications. One key figure closely monitoring these developments is the Fulton County Sheriff, who is leaving no stone unturned in preparing for the upcoming trial. In a conversation with Blaine Alexander, a colleague, the sheriff shed light on the intricate process of securing the courthouse for such a complex trial that may span a significant duration. Drawing from previous experiences, the sheriff emphasized the importance of maintaining the safety and security of the courthouse throughout the trial. He pointed to past gang trials and RICO cases involving up to 28 defendants, which have provided valuable lessons on courthouse security. The sheriff also took the opportunity to showcase the area where Donald Trump was fingerprinted and subsequently booked. Despite the controversy surrounding Trump's mugshot being used by his campaign to raise funds, the sheriff expressed no regrets about the decision to capture that image. He underscored the principle of equality in the justice system, highlighting the fact that the courthouse serves a diverse community of detainees, with a significant percentage being individuals of color. In his view, every detainee should be treated fairly and equally, regardless of their background or the nature of their alleged crimes. The sheriff's commitment to ensuring that justice is blind and impartial is underscored by his willingness to confront challenges and even receive death threats for his actions. He firmly believes in upholding the principles of the law, irrespective of the pressures or threats that may rise. Meanwhile, in the ever-evolving landscape of legal maneuvering, one Georgia co-defendant has aligned with Donald Trump's efforts to have racketeering charges dismissed entirely. This development adds a layer of complexity to an already intricate legal battle. In an unexpected twist on the international stage, Russian President Vladimir Putin has publicly voiced his support for Donald Trump in his legal struggles. Putin characterized the legal cases against Trump as persecution of a political rival and suggested that they signify a deeper issue within the U.S. legal system. This statement has added a geopolitical dimension to Trump's legal challenges, sparking debates and discussions both within and outside the United States. As the legal proceedings unfold and the trial date looms, the world watches with bated breath to see how the justice system will address the allegations surrounding the 2020 presidential election in Georgia. The complex interplay of legal, political, and international factors only adds to the intrigue surrounding this high-stakes legal battle, making it a defining moment in the political and legal landscape of 2023.